Hey, this is another tutorial. I'm going to show you today how to paint Riptide Battle Suit. I have already primed it uh, with Cetal Black Primer. Uh, I'll be mostly showing you uh, this tutorial on this part and on the shield. I have already painted shield with um, Rhinox Hide and I'm going to do the same for uh, this part of the miniature. Um, Using my airbrush, as usual. And this is how it should look after the face first coat. First step is finished. Now I'm using Screaming Skull. Uh, I'm gonna do uh, shield first. And the same for this part. I have already done legs and they look like that after this step. And the same with weapons. This is how model should look like after the second step. I'm going to use now model color white and the third airbrush step. Um, again, mostly on a shield and this part.
Last layer is finished. I'm going to use now toothbrush with water to remove some of the paint from the edges and create a weathering effect. Same with the shield. This is how a brushed model looks like. Uh, I have already started the next step uh, on the legs. Uh, well, it's finished now. Uh, I used um, Tamiya smoke mixed with uh, a lot of water. Um, it gives a little bit of shine to the model and create, creates a shadow in the recesses. Um, and I'm going to take down the same paint and to this step for this part I got a little bit carried out and forgot to record last two steps. Um, I basically painted, painted all these parts black, the same with this part on the shield and the vents. And later I painted them with Evil Sun's Scarlet, uh, both step with airbrush, of course. And I'm going to use now Troll Slayer Orange and the highlights.
Next step, a highlight of flash gets yellow. Uh, next step, I'm using Sata Green. Going to paint this parts as well as these. Um, these in the front and on the legs. Uh, next step, I'm using model color white, airbrushing again. Um, I've got a question what I do use for dilution, it's just water. I, I know I should use some thinners, but I didn't have time to check out them yet, so I'm using basically water at the moment. Just a tap water. Now for these bright parts, I'm going to use Cassandra Yellow to wash. Now for the blue parts, I will be using Gulliman Blue to place. I'm using now another glaze of White Watcher Green on the blue parts.
And I'm using now another glaze of Way Watcher Green on the blue parts. Now I'm going to paint the five parts with cardboard crimson. Just this time, not the whole thing, mostly on the edges. The same with those four, and of course the weapons. Uh, after washing, I'm going to redo the highlights with the same white as before, and I wash again. And it should look like that. Uh, same thing I'm going to do for the blue parts, but the problem is that I have already done that. Um, this towel I've made for this tutorial, and um, they look like that. I'm going to wash some parts now with. Seraphim Sepia to add a little bit more color to the miniature. I'm going to do the rest of the shield uh, These two parts Maybe some parts on the legs like those um, And the hands And that should be it